Hello, my friends, and welcome back to another episode of Flutter Explained. Today, we have the pleasure to work again with work from yesterday, where we had a login screen, a lobby screen, and a gaming screen. Today, I want to validate with you a form and so that we can't navigate if we are not uh, provide any username or password. And now, let's get started. As you can see, I just used the project from yesterday where we have the three different screens, login, lobby screen and game screen. If you haven't seen the episode from yesterday, check it out. I will put it into the info card up there. All right. So first we have here on the right side, our login screen with a little image, a username and password. It's not very beautiful, but it will do its job. First of all, I want to change because if I enter now and something, nothing happens. And also if I enter a password, it is not really safe for the people, right? So there is no obscurification. So let's start with the obscurification for the text field. A password should be always obscurified just to make sure that the people can't see what happens inside. So if they have a friend and they look over their shoulders, they will not directly see the password. So this will already help us a lot to make it a bit more sophisticated as an app. The next step is we want to provide the information if a user have entered anything inside of the username or password. At the moment, if I press login, I always will navigate to the next screen. And now we want to change that, that we have to provide a username and a password. All right. So first of all, we need a form that is surrounding all of the text fields to check if this is, form is valid. So for that, we will go to the first widget that surrounds all the text fields. So in that case, it is our column widget. If I um, wrap this widget now with a form, we have the possibility to work with that form. So what I want to do now is we have to declare inside of the form a form key. So if I make command B inside of the form, we can see here uh, the documentation of the Flutter team. And it explains us that we need to have a global key for the form to use that correctly. So you see here, we provide in Dart our form key and provide that to our form so that we can later use it as a validator, as you see here. And with that, we can then process our data. This is exactly what we want to achieve today. So let's jump back into our login screen and provide that form and the uh, form key. For that, I jump up to the login screen and outside of the build function, which is very important, else we would create with every build a new form key. And we want to use that form key here. If we want to specify it a bit better, we can also say it is a global key of form state but you can also just leave it as a var, it shouldn't matter, but I just make it a bit more explicit for everyone. So now we can use that form key down here at the form as a key value. And the benefit of this form key is now it contains all the information about this form. So we can check if it is valid and it, uh, its current state. So now we want to validate these text fields, right? The problem is a usual text field widget would be only that if we can check against the unchanged method. But now we have a form, so we can also use the text form field, as you can see here. And there is not so much change now, but there is a, a benefit of this text form field. The text form field provides us a validator. And a validator is that what we can execute with the form knowledge. So if I write now a validator, which is a callback function whenever there is something entered, we can have that function. And as you see, it's getting read because we have to provide a string here. So let's provide a value. That is the value that is entered by the user. And we always have to return null. If everything is okay, we return null. I can use a ternary operator, I can say if the value equals equals no string or empty string, then I want to return the error message, else I want to return null. 
And the error message is the message that we want to display the user if the form is not valid. So for example, I can say, um, please provide a username. And I write it small, cool. And now it's getting um, curly because I don't say that needs to be returned. I think I can just do it that way. We don't need that return null. So now our validator is very small, but it says if the value is empty, we have to provide a username or else we can't provide, go further. But at the moment, if I uh, copy that validator for now and put it in the text form field for the password too, we can also change that please provide a password. But now if I press on login on my screen, you can see it's still logging in because we don't check this validation right now. So we just say navigate. And to change that, we have to go down to our unpressed function of the raised button. So that means if I am entering a username or a password, or if I don't uh, enter one, we want to check inside of this unpressed if the form field is valid. So I check if the form key that we created before, yep, its current state, so what does it says? And then we say validate. And this validate method returns us a true, uh, a Boolean operation, depending if there are errors or not inside of that form. And now if we don't enter, uh, if we don't have an error, we want of course to fulfill our navigator.push, right? But else we want to print at the moment um, there have please provide valid inputs okay so that means if i don't enter anything now it should gives us error messages because we validate and if they there uh, there are error messages we print in our console um, please provide valid in inputs and additionally we will show these errors in immediately in these text form fields. So let's take a look. I open up the uh, console and um, for to make it sure I restart once more. All right, and now I press login. No. And as you can see, we get our print statement, please provide valid inputs in the console. And as you also can see, we already validate the text form field. So we get the errors immediately back. All right, so now we have validated the text form fields. But if I enter now something, one, two, three, four, five, six, and press login, we can see we get navigated. And that's exactly what we want. If we check again, we have now our uh, username and our password. It is obscurified. We have validated the form already. And depending if the form is valid or not, we navigate or we leave it like that. And with that, your users already know exactly what happens to them. So if they want to navigate now, they know now why they can't. All right. So we learned today how the form widget works. We validated our form. We showed the error messages to our users. And we are now able to work with them uh, correctly and show our users what actually went wrong and why they can't log in. That is the first step of our authentication in our login screen. Uh, on the right side you'll find as always the subscribe button and on top of me you have the two buttons. If you like this show please leave a like there and thank you for watching me until tomorrow. See ya!